Well, we walked up from down there, and we're now at uh, the Ottawa Archers. Oops, let's see if I can get that in there. There we go, Ottawa Archers. And uh, we've got to go over into here for the 3D course. Not a bad day, just a slight breeze. Probably be no wind at all inside inside the trees. So here we go. Still is not that deep. Maybe 15, 20 centimeters or so. And there's uh, been some people through already. Well, this is target number one. And this is the Ottawa Archers range for 3D target sh shooting. It's quiet. It's uh, probably about minus eight. And uh, yeah, minus 16 with the wind chill. Use the rain frame finder that my wife bought me uh, to determine the distance uh, from here. The 20 something meters, but I'm just gonna double check. I think it's 21.5, 23. 23, uh, 23 meters. Now I've never shot outdoors in the winter. I definitely never shot in cool weather like this before. So this is all gonna be new. Another one. Right underneath, so I'm still too low. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna go retrieve my arrows. So the first one went down in here. There's the the arrow. That's one. I think the other one went under here somewhere. Two, two arrows. And one in the back stop. All right. Well, that's interesting. We're gonna try that again. Okay, so I took six shots that time. Just get some practice shooting 23 meters according to the view, the uh, range finder and i think i think i hit the target on all counts uh, i wouldn't say there is a group to be specific but uh we'll take a look here and i'll show you what i got there. that's my shooting very very uh these arrows drop a lot quicker than my victories. These are quite a bit heavier. But I'll take that any day. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah.
cold. Very cold. So that was 23 meters. So let's try a different target. And uh, again, let's see what happens. So the next target is up here. Oh, this is a Canada goose. She's far away and she's uphill. All right. Not much of a back, not much of a backstop either. So if you go over the top, just kiss your arrow goodbye. So I'll shoot from here. Also 23 meters, but uphill. 23 meters uphill. All right. Let's give this a go. 23 meters uphill. A slight hill, not a big hill. All right, I know there's a rule about shooting uphill. I think you shoot lower, but I can't remember. But we'll see. We'll give it a try. Perfect shot. Very nice. I don't know what score it would be, but I mean, for my uh, for my skill level, that was a awesome shot. That went low. Maybe hit the legs or something. snow dropped too low I'll shoot one more then I'll go up and get it backstop all right. All right. That looks like the entry of my arrow right there. For the first, third one, I think. All right, there's our goose, and those are my arrows.
Alright. Off to the next one. Alright, this is the next target and this is how I did. It looks like it's a puma or a panther. Mountain lion. Take your pick. Five arrows. Let's see. I got one over the top. Two in the body. So these three are all inside the big ring. And this one's outside. So I don't remember the scoring, but still considering I haven't shot 3D in more than a year, I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, and to be honest, I don't shoot these arrows anymore. These are only my 3D arrows. And they're, like I said before, they're a lot heavier than my Victory Bats or my VXTs. <laughs> My, uh, forgot to mention this is my it's my first time out shooting since October so uh, yeah I'm pretty stoked to be out but uh, I don't think I'll shoot too many more uh, maybe two targets because uh, I don't want to overdo it on my shoulder which is why I have been off since October I injured my shoulder lifting a tire with a rim up onto a rim uh, tire rack and uh, crunch something in my shoulder so in my drawing shoulder anyways doing good so far and now we got to walk to the next target which I believe is right there all right if you're wondering what I'm shooting I'm shooting a Gelo GT 27 inch riser I'm shooting uh, Yoast Barebow weights. I've got uh, Win and Win NGS limbs, uh, the carbon graphene foam thingies, Biter Plunger, Zephyr Rust, uh, Mountain Muffler Archery strings, and yeah, I love this bow. I can imagine shooting it for a long time. It just is a, such a sweet thing to shoot with, and. Uh, I hear the new Win and Win limbs, the MXTs, which aren't as pretty, by the way, uh, shoot even better, according to Jay Kaminsky, who uh, reviewed them. Uh, anyways, off to the next uh, to the next uh, target. Looks like we're shooting a bear. Don't know if you can see that, but uh, we're shooting a bear. So I'll just stick you over here. I think that landed right in his shoulder. Coming in right up over there, top of the tree, and drops right into my eyes. So, anyway, let's try that again. Wow, I think that's a little higher on the target. So, it is if you were actually scoring, I, I think that's a bit high. One more anyways. All 
Okay, here we go. Five arrows. They look like they're all pretty darn good. Just hang up my bow here so it's not sitting in the snow. All right. And again, we'll put gloves on to keep our hands warm in between shooting. You know, I would have said that's, I guess my guessing's off here in the winter. I would have said this is more like a 30 meter shot. But it's actually only 22 meters from my standing point. That's a that's pretty good shooting. So they're in the target area. I can't complain with that at all. And off to the next target. All right, this is the next target. I'm not sure, it might be my last, I might shoot one more. We'll have to see. All right, 60 meters it is. So, definitely missed. I was to the left for most of those shots. I was aiming right about here. But you can see they went up and to the, to the left. And one, looks like it was a pass through. Yeah, pass through, it came right through the target. Yeah, it must have passed through right here somewhere, or here. Yeah, yeah, so I hit center on this one here, pass through. And 
that's it for the day. So that's my day out at uh, Ottawa Archers doing a little 3D shooting. Uh, it's been pretty good. I did about five targets, approximately five arrows per target. That's, that's about as much as my back could take, so it could. I'm an old guy and my back gives me a lot of trouble. Anyways, hopefully I'll get you out here again soon.